Artsy Gamer 7 and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your first video. Um, this is just gonna be like a little a little vlog, a little update. I've been gone for a bit um, but I am gonna do this one a little bit differently um, as I'm starting off here with just my face because just to let y'all know. Um, but I am sort of just gonna chill and sort of play um, just a random Sims family. Uh, as I sort of chat with this vlog, it's more of like a get back in the swing of things and get back used to sort of recording. Um, but also because eventually something I'm going to be talking about is still not super fresh, but fresh enough that um, in some ways I just want something to sort of be distracting me and taking my mind off of things as I'm talking. Um, but... Hopefully that doesn't really bother anyone. Um, so also just to sort of give this a try. Maybe future vlogs every once in a while. I'll just like play a, a snippet of a random Sims family. Or like a little small indie game or something. I don't know. While I do like a vlog. So. <laughs> and just ramble. Um, so yeah. I'm going to do that a little bit differently. I will just see how it goes. So yeah. I'm going to switch to a different view. So yeah, I had a bit of a break recently. Um, it wasn't an intentional break, and it was sort of multiple things. One of them was sort of something I didn't necessarily need to take a break um, for, but I, I did. Uh, um, originally, it just started as like I took like two or three days. I was like, Legend of Zelda just came out, and I'm going to play it. And I, I, I thought about recording it, because I did record Breath of the Wild when I had my old channel, and I thought about recording it for my new channel and ultimately decided <laughs> not to. Um, so if you've been with this channel for the past like couple of months, few months or so, um, you know that my newer job that I had had at, well, what was newer at the time, my most recent job at the time, um, I wasn't really doing well with and in fact it was draining me physically and mentally and emotionally I just I was not in a good place with that job um, I technically even told my husband I was like I'm gonna be honest with you because of the fact of the way I was because my husband has given me a lot of self-confidence to actually be more of myself openly um I especially when I was younger I and that still lingers a bit it's not completely gone but I sort of fear in a way of disappointing people especially people closer to me and having them upset with me um so I overthink a lot of that stuff when it comes to things that I think my family or like certain people wouldn't necessarily be not necessarily upset with me for but not like thrilled I, I, it's sort of hard to explain but um if you potentially had those type of feelings when it comes to certain people in certain um situations you you might not you might try to you might understand what I'm trying to say um but yeah uh <laughs> I Definitely had like this constant of like what will what will this person think of me if I do this and that and like sometimes I would do things that I didn't want to do or not do things that I wanted to do because I was fearing the reactions of those people. Uh, and though it's st like I said it still lingers a little bit but I've definitely gotten more confidence since I met my husband and so Along with that, and plus just that he's been very supportive of me and very, uh, like, understanding and there for me and stuff has helped a lot. And I was like, if I was in this situation without you here, I, I don't know if it would have been well. Because my family... Where my that job was was an air was a thing that like my family kept encouraging me to go work there. 
and like they've got good benefits and like retirement's really amazing and like all this stuff and they were so excited when I got the job there and when I started talking about not liking the job they the immediate sort of ups not necessarily upset I wouldn't say upset but disappointment or like you know sort of sadness because I didn't like the job <laughs> um, it was very obvious uh, and honestly, like, where I worked, it was like a big, big college, um, around here. And I've learned, I've seen other people's, there's other people that I graduated with that work there. My mother-in-law works there. So, like, I know it's not the same across the whole entire place. Um, and even more so after talking to my mother-in-law, she's like, we, we don't do that. That, that seems like an outdated system. Why are they, so, like different departments within this group function differently so my family was definitely trying to encourage me to get a job still at the location um or the, the college but in a different department which i did apply for but i wasn't um going to restrict myself to just there and actually my new job is not even there at all um i am absolutely i love my new job so far is it a perfect job no, no job's gonna really be perfect for the most part. You got some that are pretty close, but I'm I'm really happy that I've got this job now, <laughs> um, and I am feeling so much better than I was. But because it that I was in the transitioning point of that job to this job, and I wasn't with my old job at the college, I was mentally, physically, and emotionally drained. I would come home, I did not feel good, I felt exhausted, I felt wore out, my whole entire body was screaming at me, and mentally I was the lowest that I've ever been. <laughs> and I was just not in a great place. And again, very thankful I had my husband during that. So, and he was also very much of, like, you need a new job. So, uh, <laughs> having that support and that, like, encouragement to make sure that, you know, I was well was really nice. Uh, so I'm very thankful for that. I'm sorry still. I'm, I'm, hold on, buddy. <laughs> um, so yeah, and... I was getting used to the new job, which isn't too much different because I found another job that's still Monday through Fridays. Actually, I have alternating Fridays, so, you know, that's also nice. Um, some weeks I only work four days. Nice. <laughs> so, yeah. I have the new jobs, and I was transitioning to it, and then Zelda came out, and I was like, man, I really want to play it. I thought about recording it, but I didn't want to. I dec ultimately decided not to record it because I sort of needed... A game to play and just enjoy and not worry about recording and be able to get my mind off of things and Zelda is one of my favorite series and like the way that Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are where they're open world it's a very easy game to sort of just let go in and wonder and so I ultimately decided not to record it and um, I was selfish and was like nah I want to keep playing Tears of the Kingdom so I didn't really post and then my friends birthday was coming up and the other friends were planning on doing something for her birthday and I'm not gonna lie part of it was because I was still coming from this state of not feeling myself and not feeling well that I and I'm also partially a homebody but like when I learned that we were like going out of town for the birthday and the trip and if my friends watch this can't help that I felt that way but don't feel bad either I, I don't know, like, don't worry about it, <laughs> but, um, I partially didn't want to go, but I was like, it's my friend's birthday, I haven't seen my friends in a while either, and, like, my husband was also encouraging me to go, because I haven't went out basically any during most of the time that I was working that one job, because I just, I didn't feel like doing anything, I didn't want to do anything, uh, and anytime even just going out around 
in my town felt like such a draining task to me <laughs> on top of doing what I was already doing. So I didn't want to go. And also this, this feeling of dread kept coming over me. And I didn't know if it was my anxiety talking, if it was um, the fact that I was still sort of getting over and getting myself well mentally. Physically, I'm still not 100%. I'm still having issues with my leg and my back. My back has actually gotten really bad a few times that, um, recently, which I'm still like going to the doctor. And now I'm going to physical therapy. Or well, I'm going to be going to physical therapy. Because I think it's a pinched nerve. But they're trying to avoid doing any unnecessary te test that will expose me to radiation or any of that other stuff. And so, trying to figure out what it might be before having to go that. And they're, they're thinking it's a pinch nerve right now. It's not 100%, but um, that's what they're thinking. And that's, that's, that's the treatment that we're going with. So, hopefully. Hopefully. But I can deal with it. Because mentally and emotionally, am I 100%? No. I still have rough days. But those rough days are nowhere near compared to most of the days I had with my the job, the previous job. So, I'm doing much, even like, my dad has said something about even when just talking on the phone, I sound better. Uh, my husband says I, I seem much better. Um, so yeah. Did you wash your hands with your sleeves covered like that? I just dropped shit. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, but leading up to this trip, I wasn't feeling great. I, I was sort of not looking forward to it. There was part of me that was like, I really wish like we were just doing something at the ha one of the houses. Like, you know, um, I wanted to stay in the house, in the area, I really want to go out and do things. Um, even more so, I'm partially regret that trip, and I feel so bad saying that because it was my friend's birthday, and I was with my friends who I hadn't seen in a while. I still technically enjoyed some of the, I genuinely enjoyed some of the time that I had with them. But if you you've seen my Twitter posts or uh, any posts that I've had in a few other places. Um, you know that a big reason why I haven't posted was because of my cat. My my oldest cat, the um, the calico, she she passed away. And it was not easy. It, basically, we got to the hotel and we were starting to get ready to go to the venue that, that they had planned to take her, take her, like, the birthday girl, too. <laughs> and I looked at my phone and seen that I had a bunch of messages from my husband saying that Kira wasn't acting right, she didn't seem like she was doing well, he was taking her to the emergency vet. And this was, like, at 9 p.m. because we got there late in the evening and right as I seen that I started freaking out internally and then he called and he called from the vet's office and I could tell by his voice that it wasn't it wasn't good it she wasn't well at all um so that put a damper on things and I was just but she was still back with the vets, and they were still checking her, and ultimately I got another call again right before we were already ready, and technically they had gotten an Uber, which, first time ever being in an Uber, and I don't, I'm, I'm not the person who really feels comfortable with Uber, so you know, that, that also was, but I was like, I was with my friends, so it was a little bit better. Um, but... I got another call from my husband and he sounded even more rattled and the vet was there and the vet started telling me all this stuff that was wrong with her, like how sick she had gotten. And like literally like two, three days prior, she was running around and playing. So like I knew she was getting older and I knew that she probably did have certain problems starting, but um, there was other things that ended up happening 
all of a sudden, and I won't really go into details, but yeah, she ended up having multiple things wrong with her. And they, the issues, not really sure which issue started first, but they wasn't really helping one, any, one another, and I had to make a horrible decision, but there was a chance she wasn't even going to make it for the three or four days after if they did extensive treatment. And even if they did extensive treatment like that and she made it, she wouldn't have a long life. She would be on lots of medicines. Um, every day. Some of them would be multiple times during the day. She hates the vet's office. She hates anything like that. So I knew that she would be miserable and suffering. So the rest of her life, whatever life it would have been, if she would have had, even if she, if she would have even made it past those three or four days. And so I had to make that really horrible decision while I was several miles away from her and I couldn't get back to her. And that sucked. So, and it's part of the reason why I took it so hard is because I couldn't be here. But yeah, not, not being able to be here that final moment really affected me. And also because of certain situations with the other cat, they didn't really get along. And the oldest cat started getting to the point where she actually didn't really try to bother the younger cat. But because when they fur like, for a while there, it was easy for them to get into a fight and into a conflict. So the younger one just constantly associated the older one with that scenario, no matter what. So, um, because the older one tend to also not like company and the fact that she was older, we ended up choosing early on when we as we were getting the house that we would make a room that was a cat room and it would be hopefully eventually for both of them if they could finally get to that point where they can be close to one another and actually tolerate each other but ultimately especially that room was going to be for Kira so she had like a safe place to go to. She had two cat trees in there that she had always had prior. Her scent was on them. Her favorite chair that she always sat in in my art in my old art room. Um, and anything toys in there, anything she needed was in there, so that when we had guests over, she had a safe place to go. And if we needed to shut the door, she still felt comfortable with it. And because the two sometimes would get into fights, even though it didn't happen for a long time at the end there. It was still risky to me because the one of them is very dumb and the other one's very stubborn. And I was like, they're going to hurt themselves when we're not paying attention. Like, they're going to run into something as they're trying to run after each other and knock something on them. Like, I, I was fearful that they were going to hurt each other. Not necessarily from... Them, their claws and their own teeth more of the amount of things that they would run into so um, because that Kira had her own room at night that's where she stayed she had everything she needed we'd let her out in the morning as long as one of us was going to be awake and on Thursday uh, Friday I went to work I had to come back and immediately pack and my husband hadn't been up long enough at that point because he had had a really late shift the day prior. So on Friday, I didn't even open the door to talk to her myself. I sort of said something through the door because I was in a hurry. My friends were waiting on me. And I feel guilty. So guilty over that because I didn't see her Friday. The last day I saw her was Thursday. I didn't see her Friday at all. And then I left. She was there. 
I came back and she was gone. So it was hard. So yeah, in between the fact that uh, the sil like me just wanting to enjoy a new game and then leading up to other things happening and then with my cat, I, I just needed to take a break. I did not feel like recording and that's part of the reason why I wanted to sort of just play Sims while I recorded because I had like a safe space to... I can stop when I'm getting upset and just focus on playing. And, but also sort of get used to playing Sims and recording again at the same time. Because <laughs> um, it's been a while, it's been a, a long while that I have recorded. And it's just, there was, there were so many things going on. Can you? So yeah, I just, I just needed some time to get ready again and be able to be in a good, positive mindset and be more motivated. I didn't even really touch my computers. They got left on for a few days because I accidentally left them on when I left on Friday. They were on for a few days afterwards, but I didn't even touch them at all. And then finally I touched them to shut them down because I was like, I'm not getting on them. They just, they, I didn't even really fully realize that I still had it on. The only thing that kept reminding me was the fact that we had our Switch sitting over here. It's, I have it behind my computer right now, but we had it sitting over here in the front and it was hitting the mouse for this computer and turning it on every once in a while. So when we were adjusting it. So yeah, um, that's what's been going on. That's why I haven't posted. It's been a little rough and sadly we only have one kitty right now. Um, the little dumb fur ball. I don't know if she fully grasped what happened, but also because they didn't get along and she's the one who didn't really understand that the other one was actually starting to get to a point that she was like, I'm not going to fight you. Like, we have to deal with each other, so I'll just deal. Like, she still hissed at her, but the other one didn't even try to go after her when she hissed at her anymore, so. But, uh, she's one of the dumber cats I've had. I love her to death, but she's not the brightest crayon in the box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, recently she also snuck out on us because I think she's just trying to heighten her anxiety. I was like, I've already lost one fur baby. I don't need to lose another one. Stay in the house. We live way too close to a very, very, very busy road. You dumb cat. <laughs> so yeah, um, it's it's been it's been a lot. I don't even know when the exact last time I recorded or the exact last time that I uploaded a video. Well, technically the last time I uploaded a video was this past Wednesday. I'm recording this on Thursday. Was it Wednesday? No, it's Tuesday because I, I thought I had a female gaming legacy video ready and I didn't. I didn't have time to ow, edit it. Um, <laughs> same for how many babies challenge. But I should have a female gaming legacy coming out after this video. Um, so yeah. Ah, yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, if you've stayed through this whole entire video, thank you for watching the whole entire thing. I figure what's going on. I know some people probably won't care as much. Just maybe be glad that I'm posting in. Some people uh, may just see this video and scroll on past and forget that I exist. I, that's fine too. Um, some people may be curious why I was gone. Um, or at least if they seen my any of my social media posts, at least wondering how I'm doing. I am doing better. I still get upset about it. Um, I saw a TikTok literally yesterday and almost broke out into tears because it was a calico cat um her name is gandalf and it was the the tiktoker you may end up knowing which one i'm talking about who knows um was sort of introducing everyone in the family so the other cats um one of them is the mom of the two others uh, but gandalf is like the one i guess that's the main cat of i've seen a few videos of this cat but this particular one there was like two scenes with this cat because she is a calico cat that has mostly white like my like Kira did and there were certain looks that she made and certain things she did and a few things that looked a lot like how Kira was and I was like man I thought I was past like the heavy crying stage but I almost I almost broke down um 
but at the same time, the cat also made me giggle. <laughs> the cat that likes apparently licking graham cat graham blah, 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 graham crackers. So yeah. Um, so I will be returning to recording. Um, obviously, I'm still just doing Sims. Uh, now that I got another <laughs> new job, I just with that old job, I was not in the frame of mind to even figure out adding anything super new to the channel or figuring out a streaming thing which I do eventually want to do and I'm leaning more towards Sims mainly being on the YouTube channel and then streams being like other games and then every once in a while Sims and that's what I'm sort of leaning to and I sort of want to do the Legend of Zelda thing where I play through all the Zeldas and even though I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom now because I'm playing it so much, probably by the time that I, because I'm going to start with the first one, Zelda, Zelda 1, and work my way through the newest, uh, if I decide to play Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom again, along with those, they'll at least be a little bit, it'll be a little while since I beat them, um, or played them. So, depends. Things is, with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, they are such a big open world game in a way and those ones I can get distracted and absorbed in almost too much why is time not going by fast it's just a dog here I mean yeah I love steel and all but but <laughs> um, but yeah so is steel coming to greet him that's adorable if so <gasps> steel look at him but yeah um, now that I, I, mentally I'm in a better spot, um, I definitely will start actually looking more into figuring out, like, a, a recording thing, and it may be, I don't know if I want to do it on Saturdays or Sundays, or maybe even on Fridays, because I get off at 5. But also, I'm going to have alternating Fridays, so it's not going to be, like, a big deal if I do it on Fridays. Because some of the Fridays, I will actually just be off, so. Um, but yeah, so that's something I am going to start actually looking into more now that I am in a better set frame of mind. And stuff. So yeah. Um, looking forward to actually coming back to the channel. Like, Sims and stuff and recording does make me feel better so sometimes it is a nice break from things that I do and makes me feel better but at the moment with with what happened it was just I it was I couldn't so yeah um but yeah I'm back I probably rambled at the end here way too much just about anything but um yeah let me know if you've made it to the end here let me know if you'd sort of like vlogs to be like this, where like I sort of just have Sims running in the background, or um, maybe some other game, like a little game, like maybe I'll have like Animal Crossing running in the background, or Stardew or something, just you know, chilling, and it won't necessarily be focusing on the game, but the game's there, so like, you know, if you're tired of just seeing my vlog, like my, my face cam, Every once in a while you can watch what's going on the screen. Um, so yeah, let, just let me know if you sort of like the idea of that going forward. And maybe that's something I'd do for my vlogs to give it like something different or, you know, whatnot. But we'll see. Um, I might just mix it up every once in a while also. Just every once in a while throw a game in there or go in a different room um, to change things visually every once in a while. <laughs> so yeah. But thank you so much for watching. If you have stuck around and you're still planning on watching my videos and you're okay that I took a break and you're still going to be supportive, thank you so much. Um, if you're new here and you watch this whole video, I'm sorry this is the first video you got to see um, <laughs> with the sad news in it. But thank you anyway for watching and hopefully subscribing and tuning into future content. Um, but anyway, bye bye for now. <laughs>